If you guys are new here and haven't watched part 1, I suggest you to watch that first and get back here. And if you have already seen the video, then let's start with our next topic. Now that we have learned the history and parameters of ChatGPT, let's look into how ChatGPT actually works. So, what are AI chatbots? Well, they are like your virtual assistants, but with a twist. These bots are powered by artificial intelligence, which means they can understand and respond to human language. They are designed to engage in conversations, answer questions, and even perform tasks, all without human intervention. Chatbots are basically categorized into two types, rule-based chatbots and retrieval-based chatbots. Rule-based chatbots are a type of chatbot system that operates on set of predefined rules and decision trees. Example, a rule-based chatbot for a pizza delivery service might have rules to handle order, track delivery status, and answer common questions about menu items and pricing. Each rule corresponds to a specific type of user query. Retrieval-based chatbots are a type of chatbot system that generate responses by retrieving pre-existing response from a database. Example, a retrieval-based chatbot in a customer support setting might have predefined responses for common issues such as password reset, account enquiry, or product information. ChatGPT uses a completely different category of chatbot known as generative chatbot. Generative chatbots are also known as generative model or language models. They are capable of generating entirely new and relevant responses with the help of machine learning and natural language processing. This is possible because they use advanced techniques such as transformers and RLHF, reinforcement learning from human feedback, which I mentioned earlier. Transformers are a type of neural network architecture that has proven to be highly effective in natural language processing tasks, including language understanding and generation. Transformer model is pre-trained on a vast corpus of text data. OpenAI uses transformers in a unidirectional manner, reading the input text in one direction to predict the next word in a sequence. This pre-training allows the model to learn grammar, facts, reasoning abilities, and context from diverse datasets. RLHF is a method used by OpenAI to fine-tune models like ChatGPT. There are three main steps involved in this method. Supervised fine-tuning model, reward model, and reinforced learning model. Let's look into supervised fine-tuning model. As the name suggests, the job was to create supervised training data to create high-quality inputs and outputs. Approximately 13,000 datasets of input and output were created, which was fed back to ChatGPT, which results in a human-like chat interface. Next comes the reward model. In order to improve the output provided by ChatGPT, reward model was created by the programmers. You might have observed that you get multiple responses every time you hit regenerate. These multiple answers were ranked individually like which is best or better or worst. With the help of this ranking, each answer was given a score and this score was called reward. This created a new ranked dataset in which multiple answers were scored and only the answer with the highest score was provided as output. This newly trained model was called the reward model which help in providing improvised outputs. Next is reinforced learning model. In this, the computer was thought to reward itself based on the patterns provided. The algorithm used in this model is called Proximal Policy Optimization PPO. It is a reinforcement learning algorithm used for training artificial intelligent agents in tasks where they interact with an environment and receive feedback in a form of reward. PPOs are widely used in various reinforcement learning applications including training agents for playing games, robotic control, and other tasks where an agent interacts with an environment to achieve specific goals. These three models together form RLHF method which fine-tunes ChatGPT. If you guys are interested to learn more about AI then check out Skillslash. There's a limited time discount going on only for you. The links are in the description below.